Seeing family over the holidays can be a big point of stress. You don't always see eye to eye, and that can be especially true when it comes to cannabis. With over 60% of the U.S. supporting legalization, it's time your family wised up. Here are five talking points to have ready when discussing cannabis with family and friends over the holidays. This is a good one for those conservatives at the dinner table. Recreational weed has proven to be a job creator, as well as a huge source of tax income for legal states. Colorado alone has pulled in over $225 million in revenue so far in 2017. How? Cannabis taxes, licensing, and fees, and the year's not even over yet. All that money is not going across the border, it's not funding cartels, it's funding things like schools, drug addiction education, and treatment programs, assistance for the homeless, and more. And then there's jobs. Legal weed creates a lot of jobs. In 2015, Colorado created over 18,000 new jobs, but that's just one state for one year. Nationally, the cannabis industry is expected to create more than 250,000 jobs by 2020. That's more than the jobs expected to come out of the manufacturing industry or even the government. In 2016, opioids became the leading cause of death for people under 50. The Trump administration declared the opioid crisis a national health emergency. He didn't request any funding, which is odd, but regardless, it's bad and cannabis can help. Hospitals in states with medical marijuana programs see fewer opioid overdoses and fewer people being hospitalized as a result of opioid addiction. That data shows that marijuana is likely saving people's lives. Minority groups and women have historically been overlooked and paid less in pretty much any industry. But the cannabis industry is still brand new, and by implementing diversity initiatives from the start, it allows them to try and address some of these inequalities. In the regular business world, women make up 23% of leadership roles and only 5% of CEO positions, but in the cannabis industry, women are killing it. They make up about 36% of leadership roles and a whopping 63% of high-level positions. Unlike women, though, minorities have been disproportionately affected by the war on drugs, especially when it comes to weed arrests. Legal cannabis is putting all of that under a new lens. Oakland's Equity Cannabis Permit Program gives priority to individuals who were convicted of cannabis crimes after 1996, when medical marijuana was legalized in the state. On top of that, California is considering wiping people's records of prior cannabis convictions. No one wants young kids getting their hands on weed and getting high. It looks like legalizing cannabis helps make that a reality. States with legal weed have seen a statistically significant drop in teens that have used cannabis in the past month. There's likely a number of things at play here. A good chunk of all that cannabis tax money goes into prevention programs to try and keep marijuana out of youth's hands. On top of that, it's much easier to regulate and monitor cannabis when it's brought out of the shadows and actually regulated. Whatever the reason though, it looks like teen use goes down when weed is legalized, and that's a good thing. Lastly, but perhaps most importantly, is the insane amount of health benefits people are seeing from cannabis. Chemotherapy patients have seen nausea relief and gotten their appetite back with cannabis. Some children with epilepsy have actually stopped having seizures when they're treated with cannabis, and veterans with PTSD are engaging in therapy and finding purpose in their lives again because of cannabis. There are so many medicinal uses for cannabis, and the tip of the iceberg has barely been explored. With further research, who knows what else the plant can treat? With all of that information at your disposal, it's not going to be hard to win any argument that may come your way during the holidays with your family. They may even ask to use your CBD for eggnog.